Celebrating New Year's can often mean waking up with a hangover January 1st. For others, celebrating sober is the safest way to participate. Megan White is a community liaison with UC Health's Cedar Center, and she joins us now to talk more about that. Thank you for coming in. Yes, thank you for having me. First of all, talk a little bit about the center and, and, and what you guys provide. Yes, absolutely. So we're uh, the Center for Dependency Addiction Rehabilitation. We're located on the Anschutz Medical Campus in Aurora and likewise have a Boulder outpatient clinic. So we're serving adults from all over the country um, who are battling addictive disorders as well as co-occurring disorders. So we offer an array of different services under the inpatient service structures so that that would be a medical detox as well mm -hmm. as a residential treatment program. Um, under outpatient, we are offering an addiction medicine program as well as addiction psychiatry, intensive outpatient, a day program. So we offer an array of different services. Yeah, it's a terrific facility from, from everything I've heard and read about Indeed. it. Um, talk a little bit about people that are that are having dependency issues it, this has got to be a really tough holiday absolutely for them. yeah New yeah. Year's Eve especially can be a challenging holiday for those of us who are in recovery and working to maintain our sobriety um, you know drinks are abound whether you're at a restaurant or a venue even in your family's home and so what I would really suggest you know for those who are in recovery today is to spend some time priming their recovery so absolutely attend a peer support group that can be a 12-step group um, young people in recovery smart recovery share with the group how you're feeling and if you're experiencing any type of triggers um, or cravings as it relates to New Year's Eve. And likewise, it's important to listen to your peers who may have more sobriety time to learn how they navigated their first few New Year's Eves. I'm guessing there are things to avoid on New Year's Eve certainly, too. Certainly, yeah. certainly. Well, don't go into the night aimlessly, okay? Have yeah. a plan, have a plan B, have a plan C. Um, if you are choosing to go out, then it's important to bring a friend who's also sober, um, someone who values their recovery. And if at any point during the evening, either one of you feel unsafe, know that you can leave. Um, staying in an unsafe situation only increases the risk that you may compromise your sobriety. Just an absolutely um, uh, great, great idea, but um, it's, it's an absolutely interesting thing to think about it you know, New Year's coming from somebody that's uh, that has dependency issues. Sure, that's and there are plenty of sober events that are happening um, throughout the evening. So your 12-step groups, that's Alcoholics Anonymous, Cocaine Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, um, they organize lots of events um, centered around the holidays. So they'll do potlucks and dances, around-the-clock meetings, which is really helpful. In AA, it's referred to as an alcathon. Good to know. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much Absolutely. for coming Thanks in. Absolutely. Thanks for we having me. We appreciate it. Thanks for the message.